Hello guys, Chicken here. Uh, today's video will be about the uh, Ice Age and how to build the class. So yeah, let's get started. Um, there will be a screenshot of all the ring abilities on the right side. Um, for the Ice Age is Nice Ice Baby. Um, the Big Chill summons an Ice Crash on the player. This Ice Crash changes the ground to ice. The other one is As Cold as Ice. While on ice, Ice Age gains additional critical hit chance and critical damage. And then the last one is uh, Chill Out. A uh, Frozen War triggers at low health. So I have um, Chill Out and uh, um, Nice Ice Baby. I'll go with nice eyes, baby. Put them on. As you can see, it's on the left side. Oh, yeah. Let's carry on. So, for this class, I like to have um, energy region on the weapon. You can see right here um everything is crystal four ring uh with the ring ability i have king cobra um the reason why i have king cobra is because it will reduce the ability cooldown when the nearby enemy dies also you can use um orchin which will give you a movement speed boost when any when a nearby enemy dies and um you can also use walton we'll get a chance at one flash um, charge recover when a nearby enemy dies and also um, a large damage and movement speed boost when a nearby enemy dies so it's totally up to you but for me i just usually go with king koba or bolton i have the free rent electrolyte crystals um, i have the root cube rooter this is a good um banner for devils because it will debuff it will root and debuff two nearby enemies. That's very helpful if you're doing later depths. I also have Arcane Emblem for this class. And I also have the Chromatic Emblem. I have um, Death Defying Vial, which comes in handy. Um, subclass, Solarian. You can also use, uh, let's see. You can also use Draco for more cooldown. It's totally up to you. Or you can use the knight for more flasks. Um, gems, I have Volatile Velocity because she shoots projectiles. And this gem helps with that. It increases the, the shot speed of any projectile. Also have um, Pyro Disc. Killing an enemy has a chance to generate a flaming disc that damages nearby enemies. I like having a Vampire and Vanquisher for her. For the Ice Age because... Um, once you do a critical hit, it has um, two enemies has a chance to increase movement speed and cause the next hit to leech health, which will keep me constantly, you know, at full health, borderline constantly. And you know, the good old class and mobility. Um, but yeah, this class is a decent class. I mean, I don't really use it, but I'm slowly trying to build every class you can see it's 27 26 and i'm trying to get every everything with c4 i just need like three faces and um two claws and um two two more stabs that's why i'm gonna be grinding with this class for a little bit but yeah now we're gonna go into before we go into geode i'll show you my all my stats 300 and 352,000 magic damage. I have 278 attack speed, um, 113.2 critical hit, 3,145.5 critical damage, 13,599 magic fine, 10,835 light, and um, 441 energy regen, and I have almost 5 million health. Yeah, this class is good, so now we're just gonna be going into Geo. So 
appreciate all you guys for watching, you know, commenting, subscribing. Um, the channel's growing quite a bit. Very excited for the future. And definitely, you know, thank you for all of your support. If you can, if you want to leave a suggestion or leave um, a comment, go ahead and I'll do my best to get back to you. And if you want to see another class, you can just get a little comment. But I'll definitely be uh, building every single class and trying to get them to like 35k or 40k. And then eventually once Crystal 5 comes out, get all of them with C5 and have gems upgraded to, at least have Crystal gems upgraded to level 25 for all the classes. But yeah, I mean, this class is it's pretty good. I like it. It, um, it used to have a different, um, a different attack a long, long time ago, but you know, eventually the death team it was causing a lot of lag. Then hopefully, hopefully they bring a new um. New Uber World soon with Crystal 5 coming out and everything. It's really expensive to upgrade and we just need a new difficulty. I'm happy that we finally at least got C5. In the comments, let me know what you feel about what and how you feel about the, the new update with Crystal 5 if we need it or not. I don't think we need it yet since we don't have the next difficulty pretty useless to you know bring such gear to the game I and mean, we are only gonna be able to basically kill over 11 leviathans faster now and it's not like they drop a, a brand new torch from what I know of which I don't think they do to kill all the enemies just because they'll just give a bunch of stellars and also with the new update coming out I want to start stacking up on crystal 4 crystal 3 weapons gear in general so I can try to catch up with the new resource when the new update comes out and I'll have a decent stockpile but yeah, I mean, this class is pretty good for delves, pretty good for, to farm. So overall, a decent overall class it depends on what you want to use it for, to be honest. And it's pretty fast, it gets the job done. Um, the next class that I'll be doing a video on will be the, the Revenant, so hopefully that'll be coming out real soon and then after the revenant it will probably be um, maybe the night or maybe um maybe something else depends on which class i have with uh with you know crystal four rain or which class is next or I'll probably will be the revenant Dungeons done. And if you guys have any questions, any comments, any concerns, you know, you can just tag me in the comments. Again, I'll get back to you. If you're looking to build this class, um, you have a fun time. I appreciate everyone for watching. And as always, I'll be seeing you guys around in Trove in the next video. Thank you.